Howdy everybody. Uh, it's me at home after Wonderland again. Uh, apparently for day eight for this episode, I have forgotten to record a morning intro clip thing. Uh, that was a, there was a heavy thing on my mind. I got distracted and uh, I wasn't thinking right and you're going to see why. Um, there was, there was some heavy stuff on my mind and, and, uh, yeah, it's, it was a big thing. This is an exciting episode. Um, stay with it and, uh, it'll be worth it. I think it's a, it's a pretty good one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you a few pics, uh, on the way to the big event and then, uh, and then there'll be a bit and then we'll have some after that. So, uh, stay with it. folks uh, I'm next to a big old glacial river and uh, for those that don't know and just a little bit about me I am near phobically afraid of heights I don't even put Christmas lights on the second floor of my house I don't like it. heights freak me out they're bad and there's a thing on this trail that when I found out about it I very nearly bailed on the whole thing I've been dreading this moment for months and now we're here now we're here we are at the Tahoma suspension bridge 250 feet down and I got across that thing on foot with my eyes open and I'm not allowed to crawl on my hands and knees and no I'm not going to record it because I will be cursing a lot and probably peeing myself. There will be much, much weeping. But it is a beauty. It is a beauty. This river is pretty cool. If it's as, not as bad as I think it's going to be, I may record a bit from the middle. You'll find out in just a minute. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yay, it's me. Hooray. Oh my god. Okay, that's all. I did it. I did it. Oh yeah. Oh that. Oh my god, it feels so good right now. <laughs> I'm giddy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and film Chad coming across. In case he wants to, wants to see it. But uh, yeah. That was not as scary as I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, it was, that was fun. Uh, I'm not doing that again, though. <laughs> All right, well, we'll take a short break, drink some water, head back on up the hill. Lunch break at the glacial terminus of the Tahoma Glacier. Glacial terminus, fancy talk for an ice cube's butt. It was pretty, it's cold up here. I'm cold, I'm sweaty and cold. It's barren and beautiful. I dig it. It's lunchtime, and then we gotta go that way. 
So clouds are moving in, making it hard to see stuff. But yeah, that's a big old glacier right there. Devastation everywhere. Post-apocalyptic. Yeah, when the weather starts moving in in the mountains, it moves in fast. These are rain clouds coming in to rain on us a bit. Well, the rain has stopped. <clears throat> We're on the back side of the ridge. And the clouds are in. And it is really creepy out here. It's like some kind of horror movie. Uh, there's supposed to be this gorgeous view out across there, but <clears throat> I think that I've got my render distance settings wrong. It's not rendering the world incorrectly. <laughs> okay, so in the last clip, I talked about how creepy it looked. It gets creepier. We can't see what's above us and if we should be scared or not this is this is a weird place i would love to see it in the daytime and i'm gonna fall to my death i would love to see it in the daytime in the bright sunshine without the clouds this is a this is a crazy place I dig it. I wonder what all kind of stuffs live down in there. All right. Off to Clopatchy Camp. All right, we made it up to St. Andrew's Lake. This is the last water source before we walk another mile to camp. I want you guys to see, usually we've been drinking cool, clear, clean river water streams and babbling brooks and today muddy water lake look real close at that yeah that's what we're drinking tonight with tadpoles <laughs> yum yummy delicious and i chose to do this i'm doing this for fun. Well, it sounds like it would be a beautiful view. Walking to camp from the lake. We've got about, I don't know, 0.7 miles left to go. Carrying my water. It's heavy. My tadpole water. I could hear grouse back in there. That's part of the reason why I filmed this bit. It'd be cool if I could get some wildlife on film. Ooh, what's over here? A very long drop. Very long, rocky, steep drop. And more clouds. First it was smoke, and then it was clouds. But, and it is what it is. Uh, I don't regret coming out here. I'm hoping, even my fingers are crossed, my toes, my cold, cold, wet toes are crossed, that uh, this is gonna move out and uh, take the smoke with it. And then the next two days will be sunny and clear. So I can get some decent, proper footage on this trip. But we shall see. If not, so be it. It's the way it goes sometimes. You know, came out here to do the trail, and I'm doing it. And getting rained on, well, that's part of it. 
That's just part of it. All right. Let's uh, not fall down. Get to camp. See if we can find us a somewhat dry place to put up our tents. And thinking I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I'm cold. I'm wet. It's been a really long day. Frankly, one of the more unpleasant days. Even though, oh, I don't know if I mentioned it. I saw a bear earlier. I did. I saw a bear. I looked up. I saw him. And I, I only saw him long enough for, uh, like, I thought, oh, it's a bear. And then he was gone. So, no, I couldn't get camera out. Didn't even think about a camera. Just saw him loping across a meadow and into the trees. Boom. There he was. Then he's gone. But I saw him. He was a bear and I saw him. <laughs> that made me happy. But yeah, so other than that, today's been kind of a eh, kind of meh day. The rain doesn't help. And it's been pretty rugged. We're on the more ruggedy part of the trail, I think. But uh, I regret nothing. Not a bit. So, I don't know if I'm going to record at camp or not. We'll see. I'm going to get up there, down there, and uh, make a cup of coffee. Might mess up my sleep, but that's okay. Because I'm cold and I'm tired. And I'm hungry too. And, oh, what is this? I think it might possibly be clearing out. Oh, that would be splendiferous. We'll go ahead and keep recording for just a few more minutes. And uh, see if we can get some actual pretty pictures. I don't have anything else to say. I'm just going to walk and record. It's getting pretty rocky. I don't want to trip and fall. So we're going to get what we get. That sure is pretty. I regret nothing. <laughs> well, bigger since I've only got two days. Uh, few hours tonight and in two more days it looks like it might start clearing up I think I'm just gonna try and get more recording of the scenery and the trail itself um, I don't know if I have anything really to say but just want to show you guys kind of Kind of what I'm seeing out here. I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna shut up now and just walk because it's possible that there are bears out here and we may get a glimpse of it, but they can hear really well and they scared the de peoples. So we'll be real quiet. We're just gonna walk. 